Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today it's game day dogs here at my house. I'm gonna show y'all how I smoke some hot dogs, top them with some chili, get it back on there, smothered in cheese, all melt it down just in time for the game. Let's get to cooking. Now this recipe really starts the night before because I wanna get my chili made and then let it hang out in the refrigerator so all those flavors come together. I start with a finely diced onion and some garlic in a pan, get those softened up, add my ground beef, let it brown up. Drain the fat off, get it back in the skillet. Now we're gonna build the chili. Gotta have some seasoning. So I use a chili mix. You could use whatever kind you want. Add a little bit of my grande gringo, some AP. That's gonna get some good flavors going. Then to beef it up, I add a little bit of beef concentrate, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Gotta get the tomatoes in there. One can of diced tomatoes and some tomato sauce. Now we've got what looks like a chili, but it's gotta cook down. So once it simmers down a little bit, the only thing it needs is a touch of sugar just to balance out those flavors. It's not making it sweet, it's just tying it all together. Then I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit, stick it in the fridge overnight. So now we've got this incredible thick chili sauce and it's mainly ground beef. The tomatoes have kind of disappeared into it. You don't even see the onions and the garlic because they're cut up so small. And for a chili sauce, you really want it to be thick. We don't wanna get that bun all soggy with the watery chili and that's exactly what I've got here. Now for the easiest part of the day, that's getting some smoke on these dogs and the chili. Now I'm using my Traeger grill. I've got it running at 250 degrees with some hickory pellets. You could use any smoker you want for this recipe. All we gotta do is get the chili in there and then I'm putting these big old dogs on at the same time. Quarter pound hot dog, it's gonna take about 45 minutes. The chili should be piping hot at that time. Then I'll be ready to build the chili dog. So I'm just gonna stick the cast iron pot of chili in the back corner and then the prep on these dogs was real hard. All I did was cut the pack open. They're ready to go. I'm just gonna lay them in between the grooves on the grate so they don't roll everywhere on me. And we're just gonna let them get happy. Quarter pound all beef. I can't make no chili dog with a little hot dog. So we're just gonna close the Traeger, check on them about 45 minutes. We'll come back and stir the chili. Hot dog should be ready. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. I know my dogs are done. They're browned up, looking juicy. I'm getting them off. We're not done with them yet. I gotta get them smothered in chili and covered with cheese. Ooh, good looking dog. Don't get no easier than that. I'm gonna throw a hot glove on, grab this chili, and I'm gonna crank the heat up on this Traeger all the way to 400 degrees. I wanna melt this cheese. Let it rock and roll. It'll climb right up there in about five minutes. Perfect time to build some dogs. Let me show you how I'm gonna put these chili dogs together. I've just got some sausage rolls here. We're gonna put them on my cast iron skillet because we're going back on the pit as soon as that Traeger gets hot. I'm just gonna line these buns Smoked quarter pound all beef hot dog. Easiest hot dog you'll ever cook. And I just kind of run them diagonal on this big cast iron pan. Now we're gonna smother them with this chili. And you just wanna top each one of them with a big spoon of it. That one's gonna hold a lot of chili and I'm probably gonna have to eat it first. But that looks awesome. Thick, beefy chili sauce. Now it's ready for the shredded cheese. And I don't know if it's possible to put too much cheese. I want it just covered. We're going right back on that Traeger, on the grill. We're gonna melt all this cheese over these chili dogs. That looks fantastic. Just a mound, finely shredded cheddar. Use whatever blend of cheese you want. We're ready for the pit. I'm gonna raise the Traeger lid. We're going right back on to get that cheese happy on top of that chili, on top of that dog. It's not gonna take too long. Just let it all melt down. After five minutes rocking at 400 degrees, we have cheesified these dogs and check them out. That is beautiful. Cheese is melted all over that chili. You know the hot dog's good off in there. Let's go to the cutting boards. I'm ready to eat one. So I like to serve them with a little finely, finely diced onion. I'm just gonna top them just a little bit. You can leave the onion off if you want, but a good chili dog needs a little onion bite to me. And some sliced jalapeno. You can top them however you want to. So how hot do y'all think this one is? I had my eye on it. Ooh, that bun's got a little toasty. I can feel it. That, my friend, is an offensive lineman style chili dog. I'm going right in. Mm. Ooh. That's it. Quarter pound hot dog. That's a manly one. Mm. That's a good dog. A little light housekeeping. I'm going to come back to you in just a second. Hang out right there. Hey, this is one recipe that's easy and it's fun. Who doesn't love a good chili dog? 
I should have called these the double down dogs because I'm gonna have two of them. What's cool about it is that dog, the chili, the cheese, all of it stays inside that bun. The bun gets a little toasty putting it back on the pit and I'm gonna double down. Mm. Y'all thanks for hanging out with me today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And Shell and I have a podcast we do. We'll talk about this chili dog recipe, a bunch of other delicious stuff every Friday. Y'all give that a listen to. We'll see y'all next time. I didn't forget about you, buddy. Mm. Son, that's a good hot dog. Mm.